dear viewers today session we are going to see the concept of vehicle to grid that is the vehicle to home operation that is the power transfer between the vehicle to home so normally we have the most of the indian uh, residentials so this is the home uh, we are get the power from the electrical power grid so this is the main switch again we are going to connect to that uh, in our home this is the variable load this is the variable load we are going to connect to that uh, the residential load right so uh, for uh, power backup purpose most of uh, our uh, residential which may contains the ups along with the battery backup so this uh, simulation which may going to feed the additionally that is the electrical vehicle batteries that is ev battery here that is which is available ev battery this ev battery which may going to act as a backup energy source of this ups right this uh, electrical vehicle battery energy backup will be act as a uh, backup energy of this ups so whenever the grid is to be failure due to some other natural reason so immediately the switch will be open so again we are going to get the power from this battery so this battery which may be going to feed into that the system so this is the basic uh, all type of ups which may going to use this type of push pull that is the push pull type uh, that is isolated converter push pull type isolated type converter uh, they are going to used again it may be converted this lower voltage to higher voltage by using this uh, that is the type of this type of a transformer here that is uh, uh, the now we are going to see this is the ac supply here this is the ac supply uh, phase and neutral we are going to connect to the switch for the purpose of disconnection for running the simulation again this is the ammeter this ammeter which may be going to computes how much level of the current uh, uh, will be trans exchange from that grid to ups and ups to the load so this is that the main concept for that purpose this ammeter we are used so this is the ac again we are going to measure in terms of the rms the 50 hertz frequency so i am also giving that the initial value of the 10 amps so this is the dc side so dc side that is the uh, how much of the current we are going to taken from that the battery source and electrical vehicle uh, battery another battery source so which may be going to connect with this system so again we are used to measure by using the uh, that is mean value because uh, it is the converter based one so that is the switching ripples is that so uh, we are going to measure by using that uh, mean value so in this system uh, that is that the ac signal ac signal we are going to be generated by using this pwm generator unit that is pwm generator unit so this pwm generator unit uh, additionally we are going to feed with the sine wave generation this is the sine wave generation block okay this sine wave generation block that is uh, uh, the main thing is sine uh, this is this is that uh, sign so open the bracket of omega t omega t which means 2 star uh, pi uh, that is what is the pi value pi star and what is the frequency that is the frequency uh, star then this is the t t tends to the this is the time so here the time is nothing but the act as a clo ck is a clock 
so this is that the uh, power generation we are going to be used in this block right so this is the clock again the i battery that is the battery control we are obtained from this uh, battery uh, bms based program this is the program which contains we are going to get the input from that the grid whether the grid uh, uh, which means the electrical power supply from the electricity board if it is available or not so based on that input and what is the current soc state of charge of the battery so based on this state of charge of the battery we are going to feed it as a input we are getting the two output one output is that is switch on ev on backup to this ups and the another one uh, thing is that is current of that battery so that current of that battery uh, uh, we are going to compute the how much level uh, uh, of the current we need uh, to switch on that uh, the specific battery requirement so that is i battery here that is the i battery so this is ev on one is ev on another one is that uh, that is the how much level of that iv bat is required so these are all the things uh, we are given so this i bat value we are going to feed here for the changing of that modulation modulating signal magnitude index modulation index of that sine wave to uh, that is the current flow from dc source uh, to the uh, ac by using that angle and the magnitude control okay so this is the current control which can be implemented by using this uh, bms based matlab function programming right now uh, that is we are going to run the program so we are going to we want to maintain that that the uh, uh, what is that the maximum that is 75 percentage uh, uh, that is uh, uh, the uh, soc state of charge first we are going to charge and then maintain or if it the uh, soc state of charge is below the some value again the system which can be compute the required value and switch on the battery backup now we are going to see right so please uh, uh, i am going to run the simulation so please see that uh, the uh, all the values um, uh, how it can be uh, varied uh, for the different uh, uh, different different values which can be varied here see now the soc which can be increased uh, uh, which may the system which can be in charging here you may going to see this is a current in the negative region that the current in the negative region this soc is maintained this soc which can be maintained the 75 ah so that the current is negative which may be going to charging conditions yes that is the uh, charging condition so at the specific point uh, at the specific point the grid is disconnected the grid is uh, disconnected so after disconnecting that the energy which can be uh, transferred from that to the uh, what i am say the battery battery to that so the current flow is negative to positive please see that is the current is negative to positive then up to this point 75.2 we are maintained so after that the point we are going to charging that is the ev we are get the current from the ev please see here that is the point so this point again feed it from that the uh, the specific uh, requirement of the current again the slow down uh, the, this is the very uh, high uh, that is uh, uh, down ramp again it can be neutralized so similarly the energy taken from that uh, uh, electrical vehicle battery and then the conventional battery uh, soc level is maintained we are going to given the supply so during the time i am also going to change the load 
uh, everything we have going to be controlled. So again, that is what is the maximum SOC level at the current level here. Please see that is the current level is increased during that time. So this is the basic uh, operation of that the uh, vehicle to home, vehicle to home operations, right? Okay.